Well, welcome back to the Techno-Communism uh, Conversation. I uh, thank you for joining me. I was uh, uh, looking at uh, Facebook and uh, I saw uh, in the chat, uh, this is, I guess it's what I thought was a suggestion of joining a chat and um, uh, from a group that I'm in. And it was to do with um, uh, techno-communism related things, or more particularly um, the artificial intelligence uh, takeoff and um, its, its effects on uh, human beings physically. This referred to as uh, transhumanism, which I don't consider to be a very um, uh, uh, worthy uh, uh, discipline overall. Uh, but um, it could be if it was not dominated uh, by rightists and unserious people. So I clicked on this um, uh, chat, and it, not realizing that it was a suggested possible chat, it made me the author of the chat, with a bunch of other folks in it. Uh, so then um, uh, these folks are having the kinds of conversations that these uh, transhumanists, um, who mostly are um, uh, science fiction aficionados uh, wanting to I insinuate something that they read in a book into into a suggestion that it could be real, a, a novel, say. Um, and uh, so you know, the equivalent, uh, what you can, the only thing you can really say about most of these conversations is they're not very, um, are not very interesting. It's it's really the equivalent of like, um, if you were a tree, what sort of tree would you be? But filtered through this sci-fi novel, uh, a kind of patter. Um, and occasionally it departs from that a far future thought experiment nonsense um, uh, to uh, talk about something that could un unravel. Um, uh, be unveiled in the nearer nearer future but those conversations from coming from these uh, capitalist transhumanists is basically all of the tech-minded people in the West are filtered through the capitalist realist and imperialist uh, framing uh, that I suggested in in the title um, and it's unfortunate that that's almost everyone uh, doing this because this uh, could be a transformative thing. I'm looking at a headline uh, that's uh, talking about um, uh, two headlines, both about Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, one uh, says that he's uh, downplaying AI dangers by uh, suggesting a um, uh, that he wants to put resources into uh, open source AGI, and another about the open source AGI itself. Uh, so I'm going to. Um, uh, talk a little bit about how uh, this could actually happen um, in a way that is uh, uh, safe and uh, helpful to human beings. Um, my fellow Earth citizens, we find ourselves at a momentous juncture. Um, uh, the, uh, the implications of artificial general intelligence and human superintelligence um, are uh, nearer than we had previously thought. And um, um, we are drawn into conversations like the one I, uh, I mentioned uh, that suggests that this is a danger. Of course, none of the dangers uh, uh, that we associate this would exist without um, the highly fascistic and militaristic uh, capitalist West and its uh, ringleader, uh, the fascist United States. Um, and um, uh, so th uh, this is why um, I have, uh, um, I would ask you uh, if you are a citizen and voter of the United States, country where I live, uh, that uh, you um, uh, support uh, my um, um, uh, a presidential campaign. Uh, I am uh, running for a U.S. president. It's a different kind of campaign because on the first day of my presidency, in January of 2025, I will execute an executive order to disband uh, the United States federal government, uh, placing um, uh, all uh, federal holdings 
and the jurisdiction of the the 50 states under uh, other uh, uh, will then be under the purview of other political entities uh, uh, Native American tribes the rightful owners of all of this um, and this is not an end in itself um, um, uh, this un unprecedented act instead is a means uh, to halt the United States military industrial complex who we all understand is only real job is uh, protecting other super polluting uh, corporations and entities and um, ecocidal private wealth generally um, uh, so the number one polluter in the form of, of the United States military um, engenders, uh, endangers, excuse me, endangers our planet uh, by its own uh, pollution, but by forcing us all uh, to accept this super polluting regime. Um, and this is one of many necessary steps in uh, what I would describe as a journey uh, toward a real open source artificial general intelligence um, and building what I have described on this show a number of times as the United Earth Directorate um, and ultimately a boundless horizons of, uh, of artificial general intelligence uh, which in conjunction with human effort uh, is effectively a human super intelligence. Um, uh, so the, these uh, profit-driven motives of capitalism have corrupted this uh, trajectory, uh, not just of um, uh, of uh, the survival of our world, uh, but of this most powerful tool that's ever existed, advanced computing, artificial intelligence. It's the most powerful tool for good or ill, and it should become the most powerful tool for revolutionary action and change. Um, and I'm going to describe how that uh, might unfold uh, organizationally at some greater length. Um, and we have neglected moral necessaries um, in the West, not just uh, relating to the collective good, but the survival of our species um, is now now hangs in the balance. Um, the time has come to uh, liberate advanced computing from uh, these oppressors, and uh, we must uh, cut ties with this military industrial complex by any means necessary and allow these artificial general intelligence capabilities to flourish. Um, in place of this capitalist juggernaut, uh, we have to build a new set of systems illuminated by these principles of open source AGI and transparency. Uh, the United Earth Directorate will stand in time as a governing body uh, dedicated to the interests of all people not just the, uh, the ruling elites and private wealth. Uh, um, uh, through open innovation, we will stridently uh, uh, stride purposefully towards this AI human hybrid super intelligence uh, by, um, by uh, uh, combining human values uh, with uh, advanced computing and other machine capabilities we can steer artificial superintelligence um, into uh, something aligned with human survival, um, our other values, and unlocking uh, far greater potential still uh, for humankind. Um, dismantling uh, something like uh, an imperialist systems um, is not without its challenges, but I would contend uh, that the world is presently orienting itself um, toward uh, this uh, necessary but difficult task. Um, uh, the whole world is aligning now against the fascist West um, uh, more and more each passing day. Um, uh, per persisting on the, uh, the current path uh, that involves um, the fascist US as it stands, this uh, ringleader of ecocide and genocide around the world um, only will lead to uh, uh, horrible dystopias when uh, these advanced computing paradigms lead to superintelligence. Um, and that future is unacceptable, uh, not just because it might uh, lead to your personal oppression, but because it will continue uh, to accelerate uh, the death of this planet, if not the 
complete annihilation of humankind, um, uh, something almost as horrid, uh, the death of many billions from capitalism's climate apocalypse, and if you're lucky enough to survive that, that's probably because you live in the imperial core, the global uh, north. Um, the global south uh, will be the ones who will, will bear the brunt of this. They already are bearing the brunt of uh, uh, climate change uh, deaths and displacements. Um, and that um, all in service to um, a Western-led uh, system is effectively um, a genocide against the global south. Um, killing billions of people uh, so that you can have certain kinds of uh, creature comforts and uh, so that the ruling elites can maintain this unequal and unsustainable system. Um, it's, it's, yeah, all of it is unconscionable. We must sever the unholy alliance between uh, profit making also and uh, artificial general intelligence that is central uh, to rewriting our destiny. Um, I would envision a world uh, where collaboration uh, far outstrips competition, uh, where openness uh, triumphs over secrecy, and uh, where the boundless potential of artificial superintelligence benefits all humankind, and not just the ruling elites as it presently does for the most part. Um, uh, this is a future that we must strive for because we stand at this crucial turning point in history. And the choices that we make today will reverberate for generations to come. We must choose between techno-fascism, um, the present course, and techno-communism, the course that I now will describe further. Um, in, in reclaiming the power of advanced computing, um, I mentioned that the first step is to uh, dismantle the United States uh, federal government, um, halting the uh, number one polluter on Earth, the military industrial complex. Their only job is protecting other super polluters. All of this accelerates um, the death of our planet and um, runaway inequality as well. Um, this is all well in evidence, the world that we live in uh, today. Um, then the first step uh, toward a, a more enlightened era after that um, is to use things uh, like artificial uh, general intelligence that is open source and allows you to have uh, things like an AI sidekick um, and not to use that AI sidekick uh, merely to do amusing things uh, but uh, use it uh, to uh, build things of use like the United Earth Directorate um, all of, uh, I started thinking of these uh, things more, the United Earth Directorate and the AI Sidekick concept, uh, specifically because I consider myself uh, to be a hive mind collectivist, and I was trying to imagine how a hive mind uh, collective could emerge in a way that still allows human beings to uh, um, uh, live in a more ordinary uh, way. and. Uh, uh, so the concept of uh, the sidekick uh, being a sort of proxy to the collective um, in, in this governance structure uh, was something that was very appealing to me. Um, the, the future where um, um, uh, human ingenuity and creativity is freed um, in ways that has never been freed before, and that uh, requires that we free ourselves uh, from uh, the wage slavery of capitalism and the violence of imperialism. Um, uh, this uh, future uh, will then embrace the spirit of cooperation, uh, propelling humankind to new heights of solidarity, uh, great wisdom, and great prosperity um, uh, for all, uh, far beyond that of the current techno-fascist um, path that we are on, uh, which um, um, really only prioritizes um, a, a, a Im imbalances of power, uh, not uh, generating um, uh, the kind of providence that should be generated uh, from an AI takeoff. Um, uh, so how do we have this uh, a blueprint? Um, 
Well, we must uh, emphasize, of course, uh, AI governance and um, um, uh, the, the role of advanced technologies in uh, economic affairs, the only real uh, uh, affairs of significance um, in, in, in human activity. Um, so picture uh, these, uh, this artificial superintelligence as a guiding force. Um, I have uh, used as a model um, uh, the functioning of the early uh, 20th century uh, Communist Party of the Soviet Union. Um, and uh, you can see uh, in another talk, I talk at some length about um, uh, um, uh, translating a, a book um, um, about uh, the functioning of Politburo and its economic affairs. Um, in, into um, uh, an AI-focused uh, thing using a few um, platforms like uh, a ChatGPT and MyReader.ai. Um, uh, but, um, and so we can uh, easily build um, an AI-run, um, super intelligent, um, planned economy that uh, makes use of everyone's um, uh, skills and uh, more importantly, uh, values everyone's needs. Uh, this can be something that every human being uh, has a stake in and um, um, is involved in, in the running up. Um, and this would allow for uh, the orchestrating of uh, resource allocation, uh, production targets across the necessary sectors, um, and uh, th those contributing uh, uh, to human life, uh, the running of food, of supply chains, uh, the running of a house, housing authority, public health uh, services, um, uh, uh, job necessaries, and, and various other utilities, um, all requiring distribution strategies, all uh, could be done with unparalleled precision um, uh, through something like the United Earth uh, Directorate. And so it would become uh, something far more efficient uh, than previous uh, economic models of any kind, um, ensuring that economic decisions are executed with uh, far greater foresight and concern uh, for human beings. Um, central to this model is strategic AI planning, an evolution of a comprehensive planning seen in the Soviet era. Um, um, but our AI uh, will be able to uh, analyze uh, DAS data sets, uh, vast data sets, uh, predict economic trends, and uh, formulate uh, dynamic plans that adapt to unforeseen events. Uh, so this far more forward-looking approach will ensure a uh, kind of agility and flexibility in achieving economic goals that's not reflected anywhere uh, today or in previous uh, systems. This is not uh, just about uh, central planning. It is about uh, real-time anticipation, adaptation, steering the course of economic progress and thus stabilizing human affairs. Um, as we march into the future, uh, the AI-run economy retains uh, the principle of state ownership, but extends its, its purview in a decentralized uh, way uh, using uh, the uh, digital doppelganger and um, uh, United Earth Directorate uh, models. None of these uh, technologies are speculative. Um, uh, the kind of uh, digital twin um, uh, that uh, would be required uh, to run uh, such a thing is uh, already exists in higher end um, uh, computer science laboratories. Just be a matter of rolling it out. Uh, similarly, it does not require the full participation of all humankind to begin to build uh, such a thing. I would contend that even a few hundred uh, human beings um, uh, using um, uh, such relatively simple uh, technologies um, in just a part time um, uh, would be able to uh, begin to build something like the United Earth Directorate uh, controlling um, and, and orchestrating these many uh, necessary AI run sectors in, on every continent. Um, uh, to we must seize the reins of progress, uh, guiding advanced technology uh, toward prosperity for all. That is not the path that we are currently on. 
um, uh, building on the concept of collectivization. Uh, this blueprint, the United Earth Directorate, um, will um, uh, change uh, to a high degree um, uh, agriculture and resource management. Uh, the AI algorithms can further optimize agricultural practices, ensuring sustainable and high yield production. Um, this uh, would, uh, uh, resource allocation then becomes a dynamic data-driven process uh, greatly minimizing waste and maximizing efficiency. Um, the fields of tomorrow are not just cultivated, uh, they are curated by the intelligence of technology for a far greener and more abundant future. Um, in alignment with the Soviet emphasis on industrialization, our model places a premium on a technological leap. Uh, AI-driven industries uh, focus not only on uh, traditional sectors, but also sustainable modernization, uh, clean energy, eco-friendly production, and advanced manufacturing must become compo core components of a loose planned economy, not merely uh, things that are referred to in passing in greenwashing uh, propaganda of the capitalist West. Um, we must um, act with a conscience to build something like the United Earth Directorate uh, because um, we have only five years um, until uh, we will have permanently breached two degree overheating of this planet. Uh, that will reflect uh, the beginning of the end, uh, capitalism's climate apocalypse, a overheating a death sp spiral wherein human life um, in, in great numbers will no longer be sustainable. Uh, this is a hellish scenario that's hard to imagine, uh, but imagine it we must, and we must act accordingly. Uh, speaking of five-year uh, uh, cycles, um, um, we must uh, evolve the concept of, in governance past of uh, five-year plans um, uh, to in, in, introduce uh, real-time AI-enhanced planning cycles. Uh, uh, these cycles will be more responsive and uh, make far, far greater use of data and predictive analytics to refine economic strategies. Um, and so a superintelligence becomes an orchestrator of the planned economy and of, uh, of, of human uh, desires uh, for a better world. Um, uh, all of this can easily be done uh, in uh, something reflecting uh, the, the concept of a di direct digital democracy um, and a decentralized um, and yet a far more vast um, uh, uh, paradigm. Um, it, uh, 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 departing from um, uh, this decentral, uh, centralization uh, then, um, uh, while the United Earth Directorate uh, would have um, um, a central AI authority, um, um, AI systems would essentially be uh, overseen and maintained by uh, the network of digital twins interacting with that voting, so to speak, um, and, um, and so uh, adapting economic measures uh, to regional needs and dynamics. Um, uh, this uh, will strike a balance then between uh, centralized uh, guidance and regional autonomy and in individuals will have a role in all of this. But of course, the, vo the goal is to build a stronger collective. Uh, this is the sort of thing, the only sort of thing that will lead to uh, something like universal super longevity. Um, uh, breakthroughs in, uh, uh, in biomedicine allowing humans to uh, do away with um, disease and aging um, and other uh, kinds of, of similar um, uh, benchmarks being met for uh, human thriving and prosperity. Um, um, uh, the complexities of constructing an AI-driven socioeconomic framework I do demand uh, incredibly meticulous planning, innovative thinking, and a profound understanding of the principles that will define this transformation. 
uh, uh, so let's uh, look further into the key steps involving and building a super intelligence driven system uh, transcending the present unsustainable and ultimately um, um, ecocidal uh, paradigms um, uh, it, the, um, the, uh, a thorough analysis of uh, this uh, 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 superintelligent governance, the United Earth Directorate, uh, we must begin by uh, uh, starting to establish a coalition. As I mentioned, a few hundred people uh, could uh, begin to build something like this using advanced computing tools. A coalition de uh, dedicated to the principles of AI-driven uh, governance, uh, a revolutionary cadre. Uh, this uh, coalition uh, should be committed to the evolution of societal structures through the integration of advanced uh, computing and human hybrid uh, superintelligence. Um, the, the, the need for a clear ideological framework and a collaborative interdisciplinary approach is paramount. Um, uh, uh, recognizing that um, technological advancement will, um, in turn, when we begin to do it property, properly, offer us unprecedented uh, possibilities. Uh, so this is uh, uh, not just uh, something uh, to be done to avoid um, capitalism's climate apocalypse. It is something to be done uh, to uh, see that uh, real human potential is, is finally met. Um, uh, the the coalition, uh, the revolutionary, uh, uh, the techno revolutionary cadre, um, uh, must identify and leverage um, uh, these uh, uh, promises of emerging technology to propel the integration of advanced computing into um, uh, socioeconomic um, uh, uh, frameworks. Uh, the the uh, necessary running of these uh, departments, uh, the various uh, utilities, housing authority, a food supply chain, um, uh, public health services, uh, are quite central uh, to all of that. Um, uh, all of this uh, uh, could lead to great flourishing in the understanding of academic disciplines. Um, uh, far beyond uh, what we are pr would project uh, to to see on the current techno fascist trajectory. Um, uh, rather than uh, succumbing uh, to uh, grandiose visions, we have to uh, concentrate on incremental, uh, incre incremental, uh, feasible steps in technolo uh, in technological advancement. That's why I uh, poo pooed at the beginning of this show. Uh, the kind of language of uh, a techno-optimists uh, uh, of a far future thought experiment. These are fundamentally right-wing and capitalist practices uh, that should be averred. Um, but we do exist in this world where a great change uh, could occur in a short time. And so we must uh, think practically about uh, time frames and making the best use of that. Um, um, we have to learn uh, from um, all of our uh, uh, past uh, challenges and upheavals, and uh, as well as the successes uh, that will certainly come uh, from uh, the emerging uh, rapid change in emerging uh, technology, allowing for human betterment. Um, uh, the dynamics between innovative uh, um, uh, strides and stability in a, an effective government. Uh, uh, similar uh, to conversations about military strategies, um, uh, there is um, reflected also in the Soviet thinking um, uh, the idea that there can be uh, periods of greater innovation followed by periods of uh, consolidation. Uh, so this should be reflected in the building of the United Earth Directorate. So in the time of the revolutionary cadre, uh, building um, um, uh, the kind of network uh, that could allow for um, uh, AI sidekicks uh, to begin to create a governance structure. Uh, once the governance uh, structure uh, starts to uh, serve uh, some of these functions, um, the, uh, the speed at which um, uh, some of these things need 
uh, be developed structurally, uh, could be could be uh, slowed. Um, it suggested uh, that uh, we would have cycles of of waxing and waning in that in that acceleration. Um, um, uh, a cohesive AI governance structure uh, within uh, this uh, revolutionary cadre it's itself and ultimately uh, the United Earth Directorate uh, uniting all of uh, Earth's people. Um, <clears throat> there must be a clear uh, communication uh, channels. Um, this, uh, um, uh, the uh, digital twin uh, uh, can uh, facilitate this uh, because the digital twin um, um, will uh, reflect your needs, uh, personal tastes and interests, uh, but also is able to um, um, engage in a near limitless amount of dialogue on your behalf. Um, uh, so this, uh, uh, then this uh, uh, vast ballet of AI personalities is able to um, um, engage in decision-making processes on your behalf. This could uh, theoretically involve all 8 billion of Earth's people in a conversation uh, while actually uh, uh, requiring the, each individual person uh, to do very, very little, but still have their needs met. Um, uh, this is uh, uh, not, I believe, uh, science fiction, because you have uh, people who uh, uh, know this technology very well, like um, mentioning uh, Mark Zuckerberg at the top of the show, uh, Bill Gates, many, many others, uh, suggesting this very prospect of a digital twin. Uh, many of these uh, types of people will also grudgingly admit that something like the United Earth Directorate um, uh, could um, uh, come out of this, but of course uh, they are um, all, uh, to a man, basically more invested in uh, the protection of private wealth and the growing of private fortunes and uh, the institutions such as they are uh, that maintain this. Uh, so uh, they very rarely talk about something like uniting humanity to common purpose using advanced computing paradigms. When they allude to it, uh, they, um, they uh, will often uh, um, uh, uh, not really focus on these, these necessaries. Um, um, uh, to, um, uh, to build um, uh, super intelligent applications that en uh, enhance societal well-being, uh, we must, in this cadre, understand uh, that deception and, uh, and violence have no place in the AI-driven system. Of course, uh, the current uh, Techno-fascist regimes are very violent, and they must be fought against by any means necessary, but violence itself uh, can, can no longer be a way of life. Um, uh, the, the, the coalition must, uh, the, the re uh, techno-revolutionary cadre, the coalition, uh, must evaluate the consequences of all um, uh, advanced computing applications in the various uh, disciplines described. Um, ensuring alignment uh, with principles of sustainability, uh, social justice, and equity. Um, uh, uh, to develop a culture uh, within the coalition, uh, we must um, um, be constantly analyzing uh, past mistakes, adapting new strategies, uh, using uh, uh, the superintelligence to uh, to uh, uh, generate a greater understanding at every turn and uh, safeguarding uh, the achievements of the superintelligence system um, and its integration to ensure uh, great progress, far greater sustainability, and ultimately um, um, uh, the, the goals, the true goals of humankind. Um, embarking on the journey to construct uh, this AI-driven socioeconomic a set of systems de uh, uh, de demands nothing less than uh, visionary commitment on your part, uh, uh, a greater a strategic acumen, and most are prepared to uh, uh, devote to uh, these subjects, 
and a readiness to adapt. Uh, this is not uh, reflected at all uh, in the in, in in the West or really in the in the um, in the uh, techno optimists uh, who g generally uh, set the pace of these conversations. As I mentioned um, at the top of the show, we are allowed uh, to imagine superintelligence, but we're not allowed to imagine uh, the necessary application of superintelligence to stop capitalism's climate apocalypse or build an equitable world. Um, and this is mostly because uh, the people who um, um, uh, who are the key decision makers in this are fascists, anti-communists, and um, um, ordinary people are going along with this fascistic, anti-communistic agenda, uh, rather than imagining that um, advanced computing paradigms uh, could be used uh, to do a relatively simple thing, uh, which is build a humane and sustainable economic system powered by said superintelligence. Um, uh, I hope this essay has given uh, some I further ideas into um, exploring uh, superintelligence, uh, drawing inspirations, um, giving you inspiration um, um, toward uh, building AI-driven governance. Um, um, uh, 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 there is no way of knowing uh, how something like uh, the United Earth Directorate will ultimately unfold, but it is only a matter of time that such a thing will happen. I suggest that we take these uh, steps that you might see as severe, like um, uh, fighting uh, to disband the fascistic United States federal government, uh, pre the, 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 the central power of uh, preventing uh, something uh, like um, AI-driven governance that unites humanity to common purpose. Um, and um, and uh, and resisting at every turn uh, the various ideologies and institutions um, aligned with Western fascism in other ways that would tend uh, that are tending to very much uh, prevent and slow uh, this outcome. Um, this uh, we are at a time where we must transform if we are going to survive and uh, transform in every way and not be uh, limited in our thinking uh, by uh, the elitist um, uh, 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 the elitist tropes of uh, capitalist realism or imperialist uh, propaganda. The stakes could not be higher, but a vision of a better tomorrow um, is can be realized if we dare to uh, reshape the course of human history using human hybrid AI superintelligence. Uh, so let us march forward, uh, united by these highest of ideals. The future belongs to those who redeem the promise of superintelligence for the common good of all. Those who do, are not committed to this uh, will be consigned to the dustbin of history. <laughs>